Hello, I'm Davia Chambers and welcome to another edition of Let's Talk Tobago. Today we're at Blue Pearl Resort, but we'll be taking you to the east, the west and the capital, Scarborough, as we share with you some of the events and the activities that keep Tobago teeming with life. So come along as we get right into the action, starting with this week's top story. Tobago is gearing up for Carnival 2023. The main which has gone solar a step in the right direction towards renewable energy. And the young people of the Caribbean assemble in Tobago for the Regional Youth Summit. We'll bring you these stories and more right after this break. Stay with us. Are you seeking employment or advice on labor issues? Then look out for the Office of the Chief Secretary, Department of Labor's Outreach Caravan 2023. We are coming to a community near you. The caravan rolls into Canaan on Friday, 20th January at Penny Saver Supermarket from 9.30 a.m. to 12 noon. Whether you're an employee or an employer, you'll get up-to-date information on labor laws, labor-related issues, health and safety issues, and assistance with employment opportunities. For the full caravan schedule, visit the Department of Labor's Facebook page. The Labor Outreach Caravan 2023, empowering a productive workforce. It's been dubbed the mother of all carnivals. National Carnival 2023 has already kicked off with its recent Tobago launch and an action-packed slate of activities. We have an update for you in our first story. Here's more. Something telling me, Joe. Something telling me, where? Something telling me, this is the end. Today is important because the website, we launch our website finally, TobagoFestivalsCommission.com. This is going to be the hub of everything that's festival in Tobago. And when I say the hub, this is almost where you, the gateway. To anything you want to know about festivals, this is where you can go now. There is a national carnival and there's Tobago's carnival. Unless these stakeholders agree that we should move away from the national leg of the, the show, it will continue uh, as long as all persons related and affected agree, then it's something we can look at. As it is now, it remains as part of our calendar of events. This island recently got some welcome support from the United Nations Development Program, the UNDP, with a new solar power installation at the Main Ridge Visitor Center in Bloody Bay. It's all part of encouraging a transition to renewable energy, as you'll hear in this story. Tobago's Main Ridge Visitor Center is now solar powered. It's all courtesy the European Union's Global Climate Change Alliance Plus Initiative along with the Ministry of Planning and Development and the United Nations Development Programme. A formal handover ceremony was held at Main Ridge Visitor Centre in Bloody Bay. For us in Tobago, we are grateful for this project. Just a few months ago, we experienced unprecedented levels of rainfall. Owing to the climate crisis, owing to the changes that we are seeing, our seasons are much more extreme. The rainy season is wetter than usual. The dry season is drier than usual. And there are implications for small island developing states such as ours. As you know, we are off grid. And because of that, we would have had problems in using our refrigerators or computers and laptops and so, such like that. Because we are now an orientation center. We have tourists coming in and not only having tourists come in but schools we can project information onto our screens even if our officer is not present um, what is really critical it's actually in the carbon sink the rainforest is a carbon sink you know it's, it sort of acts as a carbon sequestrator right to reduce our carbon footprint within Toronto and tobago and this solar would add to that with respect to renewable energy so it actually propels our thrust towards environmental sustainability 
The main Ridge Visitor Center is one of 12 sites across Trinidad and Tobago earmarked for a solar panel system. Bayside High School is the other Tobago site that will benefit from the program. I'm Megan Wallace for Let's Talk Tobago. Residents of the Adventure Development in Plymouth took full advantage of the inaugural Executive Council Town Hall meeting to have their issues addressed. They were promised and delivered a follow-up meeting and we have the highlights. Have a look. Our, our presence here is to solve, to solve problems that you all are now facing and we hope that um, we do the best that we can to make your life and your standard of living improve. The maintenance that we are paying for the past, sorry, $300 for maintenance, almost 90% of the homeowners there are with TTMF. And they indicated to us that the money is in, an, is in an escrow account. Of course, we would have had the issue. I spoke with Mr. Boslin, seeing him for the first time <coughs> um, in person. Regarding that issue, I had a conversation with TTMF and they reiterated that nothing cannot be done unless settlement give instructions. I have been a homeowner since December 2015, right? I've been paying them a mortgage since the 31st of December 2015. And they are telling me the only way that they can transfer the funds to my mortgage, they are waiting on directive from settlements. The electrical work is a case where when some of us moved in, the problem was that they used 110 wires for air condition. And when you try to use your washing machine, because they put it on a, a lower grade wire, it chips off the entire thing. The service fee would cover things like insurance because of the common spaces, the lights, the whatever. The insurance coverage for you all, all you don't know, but it is $200,000 per year for all of the blocks. To paint with good paint, to um, do the landscaping, the drainage, the lights, the whatever, all of these things that are common to you all is what the $300 per person service fee is supposed to cover. In relation to the WASA money, the $200 is an estimation of what your bill is likely to be when it comes on stream. Property tax is also an estimation also. TTMF has that WASA money on escrow for us because the development, when it was approved, it was for built out of all the other green spaces around you all. And because we have not progressed to the other spaces as yet, WASA has not been give, did not give us a final certificate. So, but we have worked out something with them now. So within a short space of time, there should be bills being generated in an account in everyone's name. We will be addressing them, as the administrator said, and as Secretary Hackett said, in phases, piece by piece. Hope that we could bring some measure of relief for these long overdue problems you all have. You are watching Let's Talk Tobago at Blue Pearl Resort located on Chauvin Road. We have to take a break, but don't go anywhere. When we return, we share more stories with you. Are you seeking employment or advice on labor issues? Then look out for the Office of the Chief Secretary, Department of Labor's Outreach Caravan 2023. We are coming to a community near you. The caravan rolls into Canaan on Friday, 20th January at Penny Saver Supermarket from 9.30 a.m. to 12 noon. Whether you're an employee or an employer, you'll get up-to-date information on labor laws, labor-related issues, health and safety issues, and assistance with employment opportunities. For the full caravan schedule, visit the Department of Labor's Facebook page. The Labor Outreach Caravan 2023, empowering a productive workforce. So Tobago is not only a great place to vacation, it's also increasingly become a hub for island-based national and even regional events like the Caribbean Youth Leaders Summit, where some of our industrious young minds gathered to discuss their contributions to wider society. We have more in this story. Have a look. The Youth Summit is a platform for youth to share, find their own voice, and contribute to the future. The theme was adding global value, taking charge of our future. But the reason why we are in this room is because we have, as part of our inheritance, 
global issues for which we perhaps did not even contribute towards, but that we must find solutions to, and that we must fix. We have to find the solutions. And I want you to not take for granted the weight of that responsibility that you have. Do something. And you may not even be successful at, at getting it done, but just do something. Let it be said that you did something, even if it wasn't successful. Just do something about the way you feel. Well, I want to leave this with us. Um, I heard throughout the session that persons are talking that we are the future generation. But I love to say that we are the now generation because we are impacting uh, the next move. We are impacting the next policy uh, decision now. So continue to strive, continue to push, and let's build, uh, look, not only one Guyana, but one Caribbean. This is my first summit that I've been to, and I can say that it's so, it's so powerful and impactful to see that we youth have such a powerful voice here regionally and within our country. I've already started to discuss with um, Leo about the things that I want to start implementing with our own um, youth and have a national development with it. The three-day sessions were held at Shaw Park Complex. I'm Crystal George for Let's Talk Tobago. They've worked tirelessly to achieve success and then it was the turn of Tobago's top achievers in the CAPE and the CSEC exams to get deserved recognition for the fruits of their labor. Let's show you how things went at a recent special ceremony. These students are in the top tier of the region when it comes to CAPE and CSEC exams. They were recognized by the Division of Education, Research and Technology for their excellence during a recent ceremony. And they were encouraged to keep striding forward. Students, I implore you that as you move on to the next steps in your academic journey, that you remember my opening statements. Education is the most powerful weapon of change and that you are indeed world changers. The future is yours to design and it is my hope that you continue to make an impact wherever you may go. That you constantly make room for yourselves at the table of greatness. And today, as you're being recognized for topping your local and regional pairs, an amazing feat, if I may dare so, say so myself. You must know that with that success comes responsibility. I celebrate you, dear teachers of our students on the merit list today. As the true instructional technologist that you are, you believed in the abilities of these students to soar to uh, academic heights. You who have committed yourselves to teaching, not simply for grades, but for learning. You are the co-authors of the story of the successes of these students here this morning. I know what it is like to be a parent of a teenager, especially in today's world. Because when we were teenagers, things were slightly different. When your parent tell you something when we were teenager, you had no choice. Gumbo you may, but go is a must. Now you may get a little debate. And of course, when they are very brilliant, of course they are going to debate with you. They are going to you know, give you another side and another perspective and so on. And you have to try to you know, find a way to, to have that discussion with them. But I want to say that you know, we have lost a lot in terms of our parenting. And I'm hoping that we can go back to that because these are young persons and they will continue to need your guidance. They are not adults as yet. And you know, you need to be there and continue to be there for them. So that I really want to commend you parents for the role that you have played and the role that you will continue to play. The students awarded hailed from Bishops High School, Scarborough Secondary, Signal Hill Secondary, and Speyside High School. I'm Megan Wallace for Let's Talk Tobago. So we've come to the end of this edition of Let's Talk Tobago and it has been our pleasure bringing you a close-up at our slice of paradise. As always, we thank you for watching.
please email us with your comments or queries about the program and be sure to visit our website, like our Office of the Chief Secretary Facebook page, follow us on Instagram and Twitter and subscribe to our YouTube channel. To find out more about Blue Pearl Resort, you can call 340-5988. From our house to yours, I'm Davia Chambers, along with the Department of Information, Office of the Chief Secretary, Tobago House of Assembly, wishing you a safe and productive week.